never really get a chance to pre-ride any of my races, so I'm gonna go camp out. Um, I'm gonna camp out like I'm gonna show up a day early and then camp out and uh, just ride the trails nice and slow, but kind of get to know what I'm looking at. Because the truth is, I've just been I've been riding blind. I've been riding super blind in all of my races, and um, I mean I'll, I'll probably still do bad. Like don't get me wrong, but at least I won't be as uh, scared. I won't make as many mistakes as going off the trail or potentially crashing, you know, if I haven't in a race, then, you know, coming close to it. But like half my goal is like, just don't crash, just don't crash. Um, so it should be a nice little campsite. Uh, I'll do some video when I get there. I forgot the tent poles. Ugh. I gotta get some writing in though. So Sorry about this week, I'll take um, I've had family in town, so I didn't really get much get much writing in uh, during the week, which is okay, because I, you know, honestly, I'm actually still feel kind of sick and nauseated, and I needed to let my body recover so that I have something, a little bit of something for this Saturday. Uh, I came out two days early because I never ever ever get a chance to pre-ride a course um so i got here thursday night uh pre-rode a little bit and then um i went to go set up my tent and realized that there was something missing and it was the tent poles in phoenix the chicago cubs have their spring training right now so every single hotel was sold out um i grabbed a hotel I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have just sucked it up and um, slept in my car or on the ground. So, next day, uh, Friday, Jim Sessions gets here and he's got this nice little. This is where we, this is where we got to stay last night. So that was a lot. That was a lot better. Um. Some nice views to wake up to in the morning. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, that's okay. Um, trust me on that part. So, uh, Jim, it's 6.30 a.m. right now. His race corral starts at 8.30 and then mine starts at 10.30 and birth starts at 10.30. And I think the pros take off at 1. Um, but the weather's really nice. It's like 60 degrees right now. So pretty much perfect racing weather. You can't really complain. Uh, it's going to get hot fast on the back side of the mountain when we pre-road. I just, we pre-road in the middle of the day. And I haven't sweat like that in a long time. And the effort wasn't. It didn't match the sweat, but that's okay. Uh, the course overall, lots of climbing. Um, some pretty technical switchbacks. Uh, some crazy, some downhills that I'm not really too comfortable with. I did them. Uh, all I have to do is just survive them, and I'll have a decent, a decent event. Um, I don't plan on moving up more than I have, which has pretty much been last place almost every single race and if I beat someone it was because they had a mechanical uh, but my handling skills 
you know, with the break that we had, like, three weeks, three or four weeks, something like that, that I've been working on, I could tell that, you know, that's actually, it's actually improved and it's paying off. So I'll still do bad, just not as bad. Um, not, like, a half an hour difference. Bad, I'll probably do 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes, which is, you know, 10 minute improvement. You know, I'll take it. Uh, I'll admit, mountain biking is, it's harder than, uh, it's harder than being a roadie, so, um, I got some time, that's why I'm just laying around, I have 6.30, so I have, all, I have like three hours before I really need to start getting serious and get my, um, race number and check in and go hang out with the guys at the tent, so, anyway, good luck to me. what Jim and I get to wake up to. Not bad, so. One of those that, even if you lose, even if you lose, you're still winning. shoes AC vents new shoes all right how many miles did you say you have in those shoes oh these guys got That's probably crazy, dude. they got at least a thousand miles on them road and off-road yeah they're shot sweet bit sweet It's your light. Look, look at this. This is. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Josh Ball, the voice here. The voice in the face now. Hanging out with Mr. Iron Gambit 101 from YouTube. I changed it. Oh, it is? What is it now? Off season, Steven. Off season, Steven. Yeah. I like that. That's got a good ring to it. <laughs> yeah, it's easier to remember instead of the whole yeah. Iron Gambit 101. I got the uh, some old school shirts from back in the day I brought with me. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> These are all yours? These are my uncle's. He's like. Got them at the races and stashed them in the closet. Body, man, your whole body was nasty. Yeah. 
Let's see. Let's see that scorpion meat. What you have? <laughs> uh, that's so gross, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the one that's always crashing out there. And the first thing I look is like, ah, uh, uh, no scorpion weed. Make a sandwich and hit the road. Yeah, for sure. Just finished up. Got ninth. Doing better. What'd you get, Jim? Uh, I got seventh today. Seventh. You're not happy with it? You don't sound happy. No, I'm not happy with it. But <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, I mean... Sometimes you know. you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Look at this maze. I know, everyone just parked everywhere. It is a fun course. Yeah. It yeah, we all got points today, man. That's good. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Jim's in there, he's making, he's making a sandwich, something to eat. Man, it's so pretty out here. Just want you guys to uh, see something. I what's it called when the sidewall comes open? A burpee or? A bur uh, you burp your tire. Burp my tire. So I I burped my tire. Kind of show you guys what that is. Probably a lot of you guys already know, but not everyone. It's when the you hit like a rock and the sidewall opens up and a ton of air comes out, and so your tire gets super squishy. Um, Makes it kind of hard to hey, control it. My Red Bull. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure? Who's Red Bull? Uh, I think it's yours. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. So the latex came out of my back tire, and that's what that is. Um, I just replaced it this morning before the race. I didn't have any issues with it. That held on pretty nice. Can't complain about that one. these socks? You don't want them? No, I have extra. I have extra. Do you? Yeah. Good job. Man, I was about to take a shower, but look at Sweet!